ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट ए टिक क्रॉस गेम और टिक टो गेम विद इन सी हैश डॉट नेट सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू गो टू अवर सी हैश डॉट नेट और यू नीड दिस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल स्टूडियो कंपाइलर फर्स्ट ओके एंड इन साइड दिस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल स्टूडियो यू हैव a lot of development options like vb.net and ch.net etc so we will go to file we will go to new and click on project here we will write a tick cross game okay we will click on visual ch windows windows forms application click on okay and it will create a working window for us okay now we can do uh first of all we will go okay uh we will click on this form 1 we will come on right hand side here and we will set some of its properties like a background back color as a black okay total black now after this is done okay we will go to toolbox we will take one label okay this is our label and uh, click on this label and also uh set its fonts and properties like uh we will go to font this is microsoft sans serif and these things uh, we will go for like this so uh, we will go for courier okay courier new okay this one is my favorite font you can use any other okay okay now this is so back color is uh, okay four color must be orange one okay this is label one now we will go to the text property and we will write tick cross game okay this is our label okay we also need to make it a little bit bold again we will go to font and we will click on bold okay and click okay now this is tick cross game now one more thing we need is we will take some push buttons like this okay so this is my push button okay i will elongate it like this okay and okay we will elongate it like this okay copy it out okay now control c control v okay this one is like this okay now we will take one more push button place it here okay now okay control c and control v it okay and it, it will copy and paste also we need to adjust its positions okay so that it's okay okay now this is our okay the okay so we will go again to toolbox we will take picture boxes okay we will go we will take this picture box we will put it here like this okay this one we will uh click on control c control v okay and like this control c and control v like this control c and control v control c and control v like this okay control c and control v again because we cannot take every time so always press control c and control v so that we will get okay like this control c control v and okay like this and this okay now this is our okay game okay now we will go for player 1 option again we will take two push buttons so this thing and again control c and control v and we will 
get these two push buttons push button one must be player one okay so it is player one and push button two must be must be of player two okay so so you need to write like this player two so it is in between player one and player two okay and one more button again go to toolbox take one push button and this button is for assessment okay assessment okay uh, our result result okay okay so now we also need to adjust them like this and this and this okay so this thing okay now now we have we i'm just uh, minimizing this out and i'm opening my code As you can see that i have written all of my code here already and i will just explain it to you okay and i will show you how to write okay now we will go to we'll click on player one push button and it will lead us to the uh okay uh big code window okay that is background because uh, obviously this is this is a form 1.cs is our visual interface okay and this form 1.cs uh, is of c sharp code and this is of c sharp design okay so whenever anybody used to press this push button one all these codes or statements within this will get executed okay so private void button five underscore click okay so now one more thing that uh, again we will go to our code and one more thing that i will give this coding file okay separately in the uh, description okay that is you can download it from the link given in the description so you need to download it out first okay okay now i have declared around multiple uh in what's called these multiple variables which is which are of integer data type okay because and i have initialized with the value two okay hopefully uh, you know how to like store variables within this a with the integers within this a variable b b c c d d okay so i have declared them so so i i, I will just write in public partial class form one because i want them as globally declared globally declared means that in every function i can use their values okay these are of my integer okay uh, variables now i will go to again go to code one and uh, here i will take to string type to string type variable because uh, i i need to uh, store some strings in them so that's why i also need st these two string because uh, these two are for url of the images which i use supposed to use inside my design okay now okay so it is push button one so i will again go to my code one okay okay now this is my code for assessment okay and we we have to go for like uh, okay okay no no need to copy this out okay okay so i will go and okay first of all okay this is the okay this is our url underscore one and okay this is my link okay so one, one, one more thing that uh, i will give two of the files okay two of the files in the description total there are three files uh, in the description link one is the coding file and two are the images file okay so there are two images and and you need to uh, like uh, you need to uh, store them on specific location okay i will show show it to you okay okay now copy it out okay now this is my player one 
okay I, I will click it like this okay so i also need to declare these two p2 is equal to one and p1 is equal to zero okay so i will write uh, p1 is equal to two p2 is equal to two i am initializing them with two because i don't want any zero or one in them because it will alter or it will change our output okay so i have declared two variables of integer or data type okay and store two in them now i will go to url underscore two is equal to this now what is this this is a uh, logical part okay i we know that we have declared this url underscore two above here okay but what what do you need to store in it you need to because there are two images which which i have given in the description link so you need to download them out and after that this tick cross folder will be given in the description okay and you need to store these two pictures on your desktop okay or anywhere in your pc you need to right click on it you need to go to properties you need to copy this link okay its name copy its name and dot pmp it's a type okay and you need to write it like this okay this one like this first link of the file then name of the file and dot bmp is the property of the file okay like this okay so this is url2 okay so okay it is url2 so so it's so it is off so this is okay so it must be it must belongs to player 2 okay p2 is equal to 1 p1 is equal to 0 okay so now we will go again we will go to our code okay where is our code yes this is our code okay let me see where is our code now we will go for uh, url1 where it is written url1 okay this is okay so this is the thing okay that we have initialized it url1 is equal to this okay okay and we also need to this thing okay p1 is equal to 1 and p2 is equal to 0 i will explain you why i have uh, why i have doing these things okay in private uh, wide button 500 school click we, we need to initialize these variables okay p1 must be 1 and p2 must be 0 and here in uh, push button 6 it is p2 must be 1 and p1 must be 0 okay okay so now this is done now we will go to our picture box one okay for picture box one i will write code i will search for code for picture box one so oh it is picture box three picture box two and where is the picture box one okay let me see where it is where is picture box one picture box 3 and all this so where it is I have to oh picture box 1 must be above okay above all so it is picture box 1 is here okay so I will copy from F and this F and second F okay I will copy it out and I will just wrote here okay so when a is equal to one and this thing a is equal to zero then a cross will be pasted on bo a picture box one dot image okay and if, because condition is on if if p1 is equal to is equal to one then this statement these statements will get executed and if p2 is equal to is equal to one then these two then these three statements will get executed okay so it will show because uh, whenever we will press player one now we will run it out okay player one we have clicked on player one when we click it like this oh wait let me see what's the problem okay so i have okay okay we have to change the we have changed the location so we'll go to properties we will copy it out okay because location is very important so so we will write tick dot bmp
and here also we will write take cross cross dot bmp and like this okay now now when when i clicked the push button one it is take when i i, I used to uh, click on player two and when i will click this part it is cross okay okay now okay so this is done now we will go to picture box two we will go to this okay now this is not picture box two we will go to picture box two code okay so where it is oh they said picture box three okay let me check where is picture box two so this is picture box two code okay copy it out and i will place it like this here here okay i will check it either it is working or not so this this okay it's working okay now picture box three okay two and this is picture box three i i, I have to copy it out will go to picture box three and paste it out so so all the whenever we will click on this picture box three in the running mode then all these statements will get executed and what these statements are actually doing they are just checking that if p1 is equal to is equal to one then they will uh, update the vari variable value that is cc to one okay and also place the picture on specific uh, picture box okay and nothing more okay and the last we will check this is picture box four okay so 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 we will okay picture box four so we will go and we will go and we will okay copy it out like this control c So this is picture box four okay and now click on double click on picture box five and its code must be okay a lot of files are open here okay so cross all the files this just one is necessary so picture box five so this is picture box five like this okay control c go to this from one design and here and paste it out okay so this is for picture box five okay for picture box six the code which i have written is like this control c and control v okay just they're just like if p1 is equal to one if player one has been clicked player one push button has been clicked uh then variable ff is equal to one okay and if player two button will get clicked it will assign zero to ff okay and on this the variable ff value and a and bb and cc values uh, our final check will be on these things okay now picture this is six picture box six so we need to copy it out no no picture box seven okay picture box seven so this is picture box seven we will copy it out and like this okay again we will go to picture box eight picture box eight and this is copy it out and paste it out like this okay then picture box nine and okay now this is done now we can click on player one and all the this if you will click on player two cross will be assigned this is sign of player two okay now we will go to results one that which uh, our result button will tell us that which uh, player has been when okay so we will go picture box six and all this so in yes this is the 
this is a little bit uh, complex thing so i will copy all this okay and and, and don't afraid okay you, you can copy just like this okay okay and this thing p2 wins and message box p2 wins and this and that and copy copy it out okay copy it copy this thing okay which thing this thing i will show you okay so this thing this thing okay for it will check every every box of the okay a game that uh, which player has stick which thing okay and then on the basis of this it will go for what is called is the okay there is some problem maybe wait uh, let me i think that one bracket is more or less or what expected this thing this thing this thing yes there there, uh, 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 there there must be one more bracket okay here okay now now we will click on player one this then player two this again player one turn this one player two this player one this player two this okay result p2 wins okay it says p2 wins okay and uh, in this way you can write okay or you can um, find any okay like this then results no results at all okay so in this way you can build a tick cross game like this so hopefully you got the concept if there is any sort of difficulty i am always here online so you can consult me in the comment section so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe